Hi, Namaste, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to the Jyotish Light YouTube channel. My name is Pulak. Uh, as you know, this channel is focused on um, primarily doing research on bird charts to identify themes, patterns that uh, might indicate certain uh experiences or events manifesting in a native's life and uh, i obviously spend some amount of my time uh, going through charts trying to pick up themes um could you know these could be profession related these could be uh, life events related like uh, you know marriage childbirth so on and so forth um my main interest of course lies obviously in profession and i've always been curious to know what has driven individuals to pick a certain profession or excel in a certain profession and to that extent i thought uh, let me just pick a theme of banking as an example and just walk you through some of the things that we take into consideration while uh, obviously uh, trying to determine what is the likely career path of an individual in this physical life. Now, mind you, um, given that we operate under a constraint of putting a very bite-sized video, the analysis may not be exhaustive. Also, please remember that um, uh, I may, may, may make a mistake or might have interpreted things wrongly however uh, as some of you might be aware i've done most of my learning from Srima Puni, and uh, he brings a lot of structured methods and processes in terms of trying to interpret birth charts and that's what i put in practice as well and uh, mark has obviously learned uh, uh, jyotish from shri k and Rao. So uh, I'll just quickly go into the examples for this video. Now I picked certain interesting cases. What I initially did, as always, is um, go through Astro Data Bank, and the uh, and I'm sorry I haven't picked any Indian examples. Uh, the the good part about Astro Data Bank is that it contains a repository of many bird charts most of them of highly belonging to highly credible sources like hospital records and so on and so forth and so it's easier to just uh, browse through some of these uh, categories of database and just identify names and so i began by searching for the word banker and uh, obviously there are many names that come up one of the names that uh, i immediately uh, you know got curious about was uh, Anne Finucan. so i'm going to spend some time on Anne Finucan, uh later in the video she's currently the vice chairman of uh, bank of america responsible for uh, the ESG focus within the bank uh, focused on sustainability um, and sustainable banking and also had sort of the European operations for the bank. The second person, of course, that uh, I picked was uh, by a gentleman called Rennie Thomas. He was the former president of BNP France. BNP, as you know, is one of the major French banking conglomerates. And so I'm going to spend uh, just some time on these two charts now both have their own interesting story to tell but before jumping into that let us just take a step back and try and identify factors or parameters that might lead an individual to pursue a career in banking now when we whenever we try to analyze a chart we look at many things but if I were to sort of crystallize it into a few major things, we look at uh, obviously the overall planetary configuration, uh, where is the concentration of energy, where, um, you know, whether there's a 
group of planets uh, coming together in one area of life uh, or influencing an area of life we also look at the ascendant or the lagna lord its position condition you know that determines the overall quality of the chart as well and of course uh, when it comes to career we also look at the 10th lord and the 10th house that denotes our karma and career now uh, each planet or each graha in jyotish uh, has its own natural meaning or denotes certain attributes and uh, mercury is known as the natural graha or planet for accounting commerce uh, mathematical abilities uh, and so it becomes an important uh, factor to consider um, as far as an influence on the career goes um, secondarily uh, venus and jupiter are the two main uh, sort of wealth oriented planets if i can put it that way and so their position also becomes uh, worth considering um, and uh, finally we also look at you know, uh, just like each planet has its own meaning, natural meaning, each house has its own meaning as well. And so, like I mentioned, we look at the Lagna and the Lagna Lord, its condition, its position, aspect, you know, whether it's conjunct with any other planet or not. The second house becomes important because second house signifies accumulated wealth. Now that wealth could be just your personal wealth. And as you know, uh, a combination of second house with some of the other um, Lakshmi houses forms good than yogas as well but you know second house could also represent wealth in general right and uh, uh, in addition to the second house I think the eighth house becomes important especially if the individual is um, in an insurance industry kind of a setting because eighth house is all about other people's assets um, and uh, that obviously includes um, insurance um, secondarily it uh, we should also consider the 511 access and uh, the 511 access is obviously your fifth houses of speculative investments 11th houses of uh, you know gains now again these are broad definitions uh, depending on uh, the nature of the profession because i said financial services is a broad umbrella of profession you know within financial services there are bankers there are insurance uh, agents there are investment bankers um, there are uh, stock investors you know and so there's a wide variety or range of possibilities available and depending on which house gains significance which planet has source of strength which planet becomes important that sort of tends to set the tone and the color for you know things to happen now <clears throat> let us straight away go into the example so the first example is of Anne Finucan now Anne Finucan is an interesting case because she didn't start off directly in the banking industry you know she began a career in the advertising and pr industry and then in the year of 90 and she of course went about to dabble with her setting up her own consulting firm but then in the year of 95 she joined the first fleet bank as the head of the marketing uh, and corporate affairs department eventually first fleet merged with bank of america and then obviously she ended up taking a very leadership roles in bank of america now first things obviously to consider is just the overall chart position both from the lagna as well as from the uh moon the chandra lagna and uh, also evaluate the quality of the planets the strength of the planets and that we do obviously uh, based on many factors whether the planet is in its own sign or exaltation sign the planet has the aspect of all benefits the planet is involved in an exchange or uh, is uh, having a source of strength in the navamsha which is the t9 chart 
uh, either Varkotama or uh, any other source of strength. Uh, and that obviously, whenever a planet is strong, it tends to give its results very strongly. And so, um, if you notice Anne Finucane's chart, uh, many planets have sources of strength. You know, the sun is Varkotama, it repeats, it's in the sign of Cancer, and it it continues to be in Cancer in D9. Um, Mercury and Venus actually are both debilitated in D9, but the, their debilitation is Cancer because of that exchange. So you see Venus going into the sign of Mercury uh, in D9, and Mercury going into... Uh, uh, it's a debilitation sign, so both it's it's a classic niche bang debilitation uh, cancellation, and uh, the moon is exalted in the tenth house. Uh, and so on and so forth. Now, I mentioned that she began a career in marketing and PR. Now, what would indicate in the chart that the person is inclined towards marketing and PR? Well, obviously, what we've noticed as a general pattern is that the third house becomes really strong for anybody to be in the area of communication, so to speak. And uh, her Lagna Lord goes to the third house from the moon. It is uh, with the natural Karaka of communication, Mercury in the third house, and uh, Volkotama strong sun. So, um, no wonder uh, she obviously uh, began her career in, uh, uh, you know, this advertising PR space. Interestingly, she, um, um, uh, if you look at what she would have run as a period before she, she joined First Fleet Bank, it would have been the Saturn, uh, it would have been the Jupiter major period, and Jupiter is in the ninth house, aspecting the third lord, third house. And uh, as I mentioned, she joined the First Fleet Bank in 1995 in the banking industry as a marketing and PR person. So the marketing PR routes continue to stay put but just that the industry changed to banking and what would indicate, you know, that somebody might be inclined to do this. Well, you see Saturn in the second house of accumulated wealth uh, in this period. And uh, just as, uh, just in terms of static potential, her Lagna Lord is conjunct, which is the sun, is conjunct the second Lord, Mercury, which also happens to be the 11th Lord and the 10th Lord Venus. So the Ascendant is getting connected to the 10th house, is getting connected to the 2nd and 11th Lord, one of them being the natural significant of Mercury. And that sort of indicates uh, uh, somebody to be inclined towards the banking uh, profession. Now, um, interestingly, that pattern repeats from Chandralagna as well, where Venus becomes the Lagna Lord. And it's a strong Chandra Lagna because Moon is exalted, and uh, Venus becomes the Lagna Lord, and it is conjunct Mercury again in the third house, um, and Mercury's eligibility continues. So that's one pattern that we've sort of seen. That uh, I mean, of course, it's great that you have a two ten connection or a ten two connection, which is basically the second Lord going. Um, to the 10th house or the 10th law going to the second house or connected to the Lagna. But I think what tips the favor in case of banking is uh, having a strong Mercury in the chart. And uh, let me just quickly move on to the second example. Now, Renny Thomas is obviously it was the chairman and CEO of BNP Paribas, uh, the French banking conglomerate for a good 11 years. Now, in his chart, obviously, if you see, um, there are quite a few things happening. First of all, the second Lord Saturn uh, goes to the Lagna. Um, the 10th Lord is Mercury again. So Mercury is uh, 
influence is coming and it goes to the second house of accumulated wealth um obviously you've got a work with my son in the lagna which would indicate generally that the person will rise up to a position of authority all things being equal now interestingly the pattern again repeats from the moon where venus becomes the 10th lord and it goes to the second house and saturn becomes both the lagna lord and the second lord so um it's interesting how some of these patterns keep repeating i think if i were to just summarize a 210 connection uh, or uh, uh, possibly a 2810 connection with the lagna lord involved and with the strong mercury involved obviously improves the probability or increases the probability of a person getting into an accounting banking uh kind of a business um uh what would further qualify what exactly in the banking or financial services industry that person would do would be the influence or configuration of other planets um you know, the 8th house 5th house 11th house so on and so forth so this was a short video just on career as a banking i hope you found this to be useful please keep continue to send your uh, encouragement and feedback in terms of how I can improve making these videos. Thank you so much and have a great day.